Hello there everyone, it's Diddy here, and this is some 3v3 arenas I got to play as uh, KFC, KFC-ish, because it's uh, with the healer monk, which I actually got a uh, pretty surprise, uh, you know, healer monks are actually, are actually pretty good, um, I didn't think it would be that good, but I, I, I got surprised, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stick with these guys for a little bit, I'm really enjoying uh, playing uh, KFC-ish, <laughs> you know, with this comp, but... Yeah, guys, and and I want to share some uh, some good arenas we we did. We it, it's going pretty good actually. So we're getting a uh, frost death knight, a rested druid, and uh, arms warrior. This is a scary comp, as you see. I'm taking a lot of damage. I leap out, you know, a frost death knight and a warrior with these cooldowns together in uh, focusing a target. It, it it really hurts a lot. My healer does a very very good job at keeping me alive, and uh, I pop my cooldowns in in leap back as soon as I as, as I can. At this point I noticed that the warrior is very squishy so we are kind of focusing on him and their druid did a really good job into healing him, he just popped his cooldowns to help him a little bit out. The death knight is still on me, they're really trying to focus me. Yeah I just uh, charged and he, he pulled me right back, That's, I hate it, <laughs> I hate when that thing happens but no it's just part of the deal. So anyways as you see he, I think he thought he was going to die, he knew so he just he keep the war glaive, you know, of Black Temple Illidan. He just, just with the war glaive. I don't know if you guys can notice, but yeah, it was a pretty fun and funny arena. Uh, it was very intense, actually. At the beginning, I really thought I was going to die, but our healer did a pretty good job, and we turned this all around. This is a really good uh, composition I'm playing. Uh, you know, I really like it, and yeah. So now this is a Feral Druid, an Arms Warrior and a Discipline Priest. This is actually a scary composition, there is a lot of damage and a lot of burst incoming, so our healer definitely needs to be on the watch. We decide to go Priest, but I see they just immediately rush to the Beastmaster and I know there's a lot of damage incoming, so I just charge, fear them both, get back to the Priest. Now, he's in a really bad spot, I noticed it, I just pop my cooldowns and if it wasn't for the Druid to just come rush, he would die right here. But fortunately for him, the Druid just came and spammed Cyclone to me until my cooldowns passed. But I got to reflect this one, which is also a very very good move. Now, uh, my Hunter is taking a lot of damage from this Warrior with cooldowns, so I just disarm him to try to, you know, uh, apply some pressure to them with uh, all the CCs and we just decide to go right back on Priests. Unfortunately, priests are not in their best shape this season, so they pretty much have the targets on their heads. At least, at least that's how we thought. And eventually, like just like this, he, he just dies. It's inevitable for them. If we we did a, I think we did a good CCs and we we played good. And you know, priest is just uh, kind of squishy at the moment, so they really they really didn't have much chance by this point. So yeah, this was uh, actually a good win. I liked how we defended ourselves in this one, so yeah. <laughs> okay guys, now this isn't really uh, that much of a match, it's nothing that special, but I really wanted to share this clip, this match, because of a little trick the other team does that could have saved them, unfortunately it did not, but it was a really cool trick that I thought it would be nice to share. So the Frost Death Knight just charges into my healer, I don't know why. But he ignored me. So now look at this. We both pop the cooldowns on the priests. He does that stealthy thing, and he does that uh, ability that just you know swaps the life, the HP to another player. I think it was a really cool trick. It definitely got me confused for a while there. But yeah, it did not save him. He was not uh, fast enough to heal his body up. But if I think if the mage have blink and kited, uh, you know, to the back of the pillar, they could have actually made it. And you know maybe apply some pressure to us, but yeah, it, this this was actually a, a really nice cool tricky that I really wanted to share. Uh, <laughs> I was really definitely surprised. It, it did caught me on guard. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these arenas. I'm sorry there couldn't be that many of them, but I'm still doing more Yuri PV. Uh, I don't know, I, I've been specking Fury a little bit in BGs, it's not that great, but it really does some insane Bladestorm damage if you go spec into Bladestorm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna throw out the BG as Fury and share it to you guys. And uh, I think I'm gonna start working on the Tales of Arms 2 also. So yeah guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me. 
to everyone who, who did and um, yeah guys uh, <laughs> I'm really really liking this and see you next video guys as always